Hello, I'm James Cornelius, curator of the Lincoln Collection at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum in Springfield, Illinois. Today we are not in the museum or the library. We are at Oak Ridge Cemetery on the north side of Springfield, where Abraham Lincoln's remains and those of most of his family rest today. Everybody wanted to remember Lincoln after he had died. People today still do. Mary Lincoln, as we heard in March, had the advantage of possessing small cameo photographs of her husband and her deceased son, Willie, with locks of their hair underneath the glass of those photos as keepsakes. But for the rest of the public who did not have such things, they could buy photographs or, in this case, stereographs, stereo, stereo card views of the burial site. And this is one of our artifacts of the month. This month, it will be on display in the museum. Lincoln's remains and those of their son, Willie, who had died in the White House three years earlier, were brought here to the public receiving vault on a hillside facing north, away from the sun, in May of 1865. It was here where the two caskets were placed, and it is here where they remained for about seven months until a more permanent, private Lincoln family tomb could be constructed. People came by the thousands to view the interment on May 4th of 1865, and people by the thousands purchased three-dimensional stereoscopic views of this scene. There are guards in some of the scenes. Some of them depict the pallbearers carrying the casket to the door. This was one of the many ways that people chose to remember Abraham Lincoln. The 3D viewing was a pretty new phenomenon. Uh, it had come along in the late 1850s and had suddenly become, like many things, much improved, much cheaper during the Civil War. And families bought whole sets of these 3D views of scenes of Lincoln's life, of the Civil War, of soldiers, and we think, most of all, of the Lincoln burial sites. Now we are at the south door of the permanent Lincoln tomb in Springfield. We've come up the hill about 100 yards from the temporary place of Lincoln's rest. That was the public receiving vault. It was for any member of the public who had died in that period. So the family had a temporary private tomb built about halfway up the, up the hill. And that is where Abraham and Willie and their little boy Eddie, who had died 15 years earlier, were resting for about five years as this magnificent permanent tomb was being constructed. Mary Lincoln never went to the original resting place. She couldn't bear to see it. She came on the day that they moved up the hill to the private vault, the temporary vault. And she was here later on when the major permanent tomb was finished to see the place of rest for three of her loved ones. Now we are in the Presidential Museum here in Springfield, Illinois, in the recreated scene of the presidential box at Ford's Theater, where Abraham and Mary Lincoln, along with their friends Major Rathbone and Miss Harris, are viewing the play Our American Cousin. This is the scene that Matthew Brady, the famed photographer, was allowed to capture as a stereoscopic view the next day in Ford's Theater. President Lincoln was shot and killed here by John Wilkes Booth while sitting in his rocking chair in the presidential box. Brady came in and took this photograph. It was then hand colored and sold, although not to very many people because it was quite expensive, 
to buy a hand-colored stereoscopic view, but the public wanted these scenes of President Lincoln's last moments. The portrait of President Washington here on my right has been perhaps overcolored in this view. Its mat is rather yellow, but the red, white, and blue of the flags is pretty accurate. This is a stereoscopic viewer of the mid-19th century. It is not one that the Lincolns owned, although there's a fancier version of theirs at the Lincoln home here in Springfield. People in the 19th century could drop a card into these little brackets in the back and then place their eyes close to the two lenses to see the three-dimensional view. This discovery had been made just a few years before Lincoln was elected president and it became pretty popular mostly in black and white because people wanted to see the battlefields that they had read so much about in the newspapers and the magazines and then finally here in the Abraham Lincoln story Americans wanted to see the last scenes of Abraham Lincoln's earthly life the presidential box at Ford's Theater, and his tomb at Oak Ridge Cemetery. This is the scene then at the presidential box. Afterwards, Tad Lincoln, the youngest member of the family still alive, said, Dear Mother, now there are three of us here and three in heaven, referring to his brothers, Eddie and Willie, who had already died along now with Abraham. Three of us still here, meaning Mary, the oldest son, Robert, and Tad. This is the scene at the tomb. Here is the scene at the presidential box in three dimensions. We are trying to keep these items here in the collection for the public to study and to enjoy. Please help us with the Permanent Home Campaign. Thank you.